from the campus of Southwest Missouri State University and the Department of Media, Journalism, and Film. The spring 2003 television production class proudly presents Local Talk. Hi, and welcome to Local Talk on KSMU. I'm your host, Amy Folkerts. Today we'll be speaking with Jan Swan, who is Director of International Student Services here at SMS. Welcome to the show, Jan. Nice to be here. Thank you. Jan's here with us today to inform us about the multicultural diversity in American higher education. She'll also be speaking with us about International Student Services and its affiliate, the Association of International Students. Later, we'll take a look at some footage and events of indi individuals involved in these organizations. Thanks for being with us again today, Jan. You're welcome. So tell me, exactly what does being the director of ISS involve? Well, we recruit students from around the world to come to SMSU to study. We um, provide services for them after they get here. Uh, we evaluate their application packages and make admission decisions, then send them the immigration form that they need to use to apply for the student visa. And uh, then once they get here, we try to orient them and, and uh, offer some programming. Okay. Concerning the new laws and paperwork, getting your visa, and just the general requirements for the students, what, do they, what kind of process do they have to go through when they make the decision to come to the U.S. to get their degree? Well, it's pretty lengthy and actually pretty complex. Um, as most people know, getting into a U.S. college for a U.S. person is challenging enough. Uh, by the time you fill out all the applications and the scholarship forms and financial aid and all those kinds of things, uh, international students have cultural and language differences to deal with, mm -hmm. and they have to hope that the U.S. government will give them a student visa to come to study, and uh, they have to hope that all this will be done in a timely manner so that they can accomplish it and get here for the semester they want to come. And uh, it often takes much longer than they anticipated, and uh, it's it's a pretty big challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what are some events that ISS and I IAS organize to familiarize the students once they get over here with the people and the campus and the community? We depend a great deal on the Association of International Students uh, for the retention activities. Uh, they we require the students to be here a week in advance of the opening of the semester and uh, we provide a full day of orientation for them at that point uh, and the Association of International Students helps coordinate uh, rides from the airport uh, between student volunteers and community volunteers uh, to give them a warm welcome and then they also coordinate um, meals free of charge for them that week uh, through various campus organizations uh, that volunteer and uh, donate the food and uh, so they, they are uh, a big moral support and a big uh, uh, influence on the lives and the retention of international students. Okay. Well, now we're going to take a look at some footage that um, Jan has brought for us, and hopefully she can tell us a little more about it. So let's see it. If we start with the International Friends Picnic. The International Friends Organization matches community uh, residents with new international students to acquaint them with uh, home and family life in the United States and so that the individuals in the, in the community can learn about the other students' countries. Um, this is the International Banquet and I'm sorry, this is Homecoming and the Association of International Students uh, participated in that. Uh, the dancing is partly from the International Banquet and Show and the International Dance that was held uh, this, this spring. Um, then we have the uh, Governor's International Day in Jefferson City uh, with students from all across the United States, not from all across Missouri, rather, sorry, and uh, Nadia Ito, last year's president, uh, accepting an award from Governor Holden. Uh, they did some tours of the Capitol and the mansion, so uh, those are uh, photographed there. These are some of the costumes from the International Banquet and Show and uh, the group uh, waving to the camera after the homecoming parade. Okay, that is so great to see all that diversity gathered together. It is. Um, well, another question I had for you. Does everyone involved in the program that comes to the U.S., do they stay and do they graduate with their degree or is there a percentage of them that end up going back to their countries because they've had culture shock or they're homesick? or they have a family crisis? 
Yeah. Uh, again, just as with domestic students, uh, there are all kinds of factors that uh, influence whether they stay. And uh, a lot of international students do complete one or more degrees in the United States. Uh, some do it all at SMSU. I've had students come uh, to our English Language Institute full time, improve their English, go into a bachelor's program and stay for a master's program. Uh, we often have students uh, transfer out for programs that uh, w may be offered at another school at a higher level, and uh, uh, a lot of them do finish. Uh, but with financial concerns and family crises and being this far away from home, it is challenging, and so some, of course, do Thank return. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, did the majority of students that graduate with their degree, do they hope to get their green card and stay to work in the U.S., or do a lot of them want to return back to their countries to work to maybe help their family or just start a career there? I think that's, again, it's individual, but um, many of them do have plans to return and, and, and help out at home. Um, most of them, I think, want to get some experience first, mm -hmm. and uh, the law allows for that with optional practical training, which is a year of work in their major area of study after they graduate. So uh, they're looking for both internships during their degree programs and uh, training after they graduate. Okay. Um, what do you think the students have as a main goal, maybe a dream or just motivation for when they come over to get their degree? Mm, that would be certainly as individual, individual. as they are. Um, again, just as with U.S. students, uh, uh, many different reasons for wanting to do this, to, uh, to better the family's life back home, to, um, to make the family proud of them, um, to get a better job, make more money, just to learn sometimes, just to uh, experience uh, another culture in another place. Okay, and if anyone's interested in learning more about the AIS or the ISS, who can they contact? Just contact the, the uh, International Student Services Office uh, or see the website. Okay, and on the website, is there anything, like is it a pretty organized website, if they have a specific question, if they're a student at SMS, yes. then the website's right. pretty easy to follow mm -hmm. and everything? Okay, and then would you email any students back? You bet. Yeah, and they can just stop by, can they stop by the office to talk to you, or the, do they need they, to make an appointment? They would need an, to make an appointment if they wanted to talk to me personally, but um, they can stop by and find out a lot of things from the, the staff in the front office. Okay, what's the website one more time? smsu.edu slash international. Slash international. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'd like to say thank you one more time to Jan Swan for being with us today. She is the Director of International Student Services. It's organizations and people like this that can help our world to promote the idea of non-discrimination so we can share and explore our cultural differences. I'm Amy Fulkerts, and thank you for joining us for this edition of Local Talk. Don't forget to join us for future episodes featuring the Southwest Missouri Humane Society and The Kitchen. Thanks again for watching KSMU Channel 24. Have a great day.